your shit like I know this Stand on my ass so I can't even fold it Fuck is you doing with that fire, you won't blow it I get my lip back, you won't even know it Pop out with five, me, I won't even show it Twerk got a tackle me, I won't even throw it Your pocket stand out and you don't even know it YouTube, I'm about to go run 10 miles, bro. Why am I about to run 10 miles? I don't flip it, no, man. I'm just bored. I've been sitting in the house all fall break, and I haven't done a single thing but play the game, bro. As y'all can see, bro, I got my computer set up here, and then we just got YouTube right here, bro. I've been watching Cypher PK, been watching Flight Reacts, all that stuff, bro. I haven't been doing nothing. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is not Z Who for a like, bro. All of my fans watching this video right now, bro, I sincerely apologize, bro, but your boy has been lazy lately, bro. I have been very lazy and I apologize for that, yo. Speaking of being lazy, yo, I have basketball tryouts tomorrow. I have basketball tryouts tomorrow, bro. Today is the Sunday of me recording this video, bro. And literally tomorrow, right after school, I have basketball tryouts on a Monday. This is terrible. I ain't gonna lie. This is absolutely terrible. I have basketball tryouts tomorrow and I'm slacking like this. I'm slacking. I'm slacking. Out of all times, I decide to slack. It's the day, it's, it's, it's the week right before tryouts, bro. What am I doing? Every single day that God wakes you up, bro, you should use that as an opportunity to better yourself, bro. Because you might as well just smile, make the best of life, bro, and work hard every single day towards our goals. So you know what, bro? I'm going to do that today. I'm about to run 10 flipping miles. Y'all remember back in middle school, bro, we used to um do the one mile run, bro. I don't know about y'all, bro, but back in middle school, man, I was a fat. I, I was fat, bro. I was a fat ass boy. I ain't gonna lie. Excuse my language, bro, but I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. I was a fat boy, so I ain't gonna lie. Me running a mile and during fitness gram testing, it was the worst thing for me, bro. I could not breathe. I could not breathe, bro. So think about that, bro. Running a mile used to be difficult for me, bro. Back in the middle school days, bro, I would have never imagined myself even saying that I would try to run 10 miles. Like, even now, I can't even imagine that. I'm about to try to run 10, 10 miles, bro. Is, am I crazy? But look, I ain't finna do too much more talking, man. Let's go ahead and get into it, bro. Whew, man, we out here, man. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, it is blazing out here. Yo, what in the world? Yo, as y'all can see, bro, I got the fit on, you know what I'm saying? Excuse my fit. I just had to just throw something on, bro. Like, we just finna just get this over with so we can get back in the house, take a shower, and go to sleep, yo. We got a long day ahead of us tomorrow, bro. You know what I'm saying? First day back at school after fall break. And we got basketball tryouts. Y'all might be asking, yo, Z Hoofer, what's motivating you to, like, run 10 miles, bro? Like, what's wrong with you? Listen, I'm going to just keep it a band with you, bro. I was watching YouTube, right, as y'all saw when I was on my PC earlier. I was watching YouTube, and I saw Duke Dennis, Kassanat, and Phantom. <laughs> Y'all probably had watched this video, bro, but basically it was a video. They was all flexing their Lambos, bro. They was all flexing their Lamborghini Urises. And I ain't gonna cap, bro. Like, I grew up watching them and stuff like that, bro. And you know what I'm saying? Like, they always used to, they always entertain me and stuff like that, bro. But I was jealous. I ain't gonna cap. I was a little bit jealous. I ain't even gonna cap with y'all, bro. But they always say, man, comparison is the thief of joy. So... Instead of comparing yourself to other people to make yourself feel down, bro, do something to better yourself. Do something that's going to put yourself in the right direction, to put yourself in the right path so you can do better for yourself. Everybody have their different paths in life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have their different paths. Nine times out of ten, if you're watching this video, you're young just like me, man. You're probably 15, 14, 16, whatever, 17, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Y'all still have time. Y'all still have a lot of time. I still have time, bro. You know what I'm saying? These people that we watch with all this money, they 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You know what I'm saying? We got time, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Instead of comparing yourself to take away your joy, just do better. Just, just better yourself. Try to better yourself. So that's exactly what I'm about to do in this video. You know what I'm saying? I'm just about to run 10 miles. About to run 10 miles. So I can, so I can, so that I can help get my stamina right for tomorrow, and we just gonna rock out. It's about 3:30 p.m. right now. Um, 10 miles is probably gonna take me about two hours and 30 minutes to run, so I should be done at around six, six thirty-ish, somewhere around there. We're just gonna try to sprint this junk, bro. Like I'm trying to get this done. I'm just trying to get this done, over with, and then we just gonna rock out for the rest of our day. 
All right, so we just started. Um, I'm just not even going to try to think about it because the more I think about it, the more it haunts my brain. I'm just not even going to think about how many miles I'm about to run right now. And I'm just about to do it. I'm just about to chill. You know what I'm saying? Just jog. Enjoy nature. Enjoy the sun. Enjoy the grass. Enjoy the cars. and Enjoy the houses. And just chill, bro. Just have fun. Experience nature. Sometimes, bro, you got to look at the good parts of life. And stop always looking at the bad. Stop always looking at the negative and start looking at the positive because that's the stuff that's going to bring joy out of the bad stuff. So, yeah, that's what I'm about to try to do. And I'll catch y'all when I'm like a mile in the, in the run. All right. We had a mile so far. We chilling. You know what I'm saying? Just cruising, enjoying. I'm, I'm running somewhere I have never ran before. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just looking around, enjoying the houses, looking at everything, and I'm chilling. For some reason, my Apple Music is not working. So, your boy's on YouTube listening to music, and I'm getting ads like every other video. So, I mean, but we good though. We're running a good pace. We ran the mile in 10 minutes and 27, which is not good, but we finna run 10 miles. So we gotta keep a good pace so we can run the whole thing. So I'll catch y'all in, in a second mile. We're in a new neighborhood again. Never been in this neighborhood before, but this is what's gonna bring the joy out of the run. Going places that you never went before, this is gonna bring the joy out of the run. We're about 1.5 miles in, still doing good. We are running up a big hill right now. I ain't gonna lie, but this ain't the first time. We are gonna get past it. All right. <clears throat> We 2.1 miles in and we taking our first break. We walking. <sighs> Ooh, I ain't gonna lie. It feels like I just ran across the world. But in reality, I'm only like one fifth the way there. <laughs> Yo, I already got myself into it. Ain't no stopping now. I'm finna keep on running until it says I completed 10 miles. I'm gonna do that for you guys and for myself too. <sighs> no one else told me to run 10 miles. No one else told me to do this. I'm doing it myself. I ain't even gonna cat with y'all, bro. I'm looking around. I don't even think I know where I'm at right now. Man, we'll be fine. We got GPS. Since we doing all this running, y'all think I should run to the gas station? That'd be cool. I could run to the gas station, get me like a slushy. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Y'all dare me to? You know what? That doesn't even sound like a bad idea. I might just run to the gas station. I'll keep watching because, you know what I'm saying? I might go cop me like a little racetrack slushy on some stuff. Get me a racetrack pizza. You know what I'm saying? That might be like my halfway, my little halfway mark break type stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm gonna run to the gas station. I'm gonna run to the gas station right now. Let's go. All right, we got about three miles to run. So let's run quick, cause I ain't trying to make this all day. Y'all know when it get dark outside, that's when the hoodlums start pulling up to the gas station, start kicking their feet up. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta get there quick. All right, we back into it. Let's get it. We back into it. And we run into the gas station. Let's go. All right, guys, we run into the gas station. But while we run into the gas station, I want to tell y'all something very important. If y'all want to do this, make sure y'all are staying on the, on the side of the road where the cars are coming to you. So you know when to maneuver into the grass and when you can just stay in the road like this. 
all right don't be on the side of the road where the cars are coming this way because if you got some headphones in and you're listening to music you can't hear that the car is coming then you're cooked okay we're still running i don't really know if we're close to racetrack yet but we're just gonna keep on running chat because we gonna we're gonna get there eventually hopefully I'm running all the way to racetrack and I low key don't have a single dollar in my cash app, but we gonna rock out. You know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry, doggo. <laughs> doggo, I'm so sorry, bro. <laughs> Yo, and the crazy thing is, bro, we haven't took a single break since we left the house. We're going crazy right now. Let's keep it up. And we're also, 4.1 miles in so we're almost halfway done with our goal so that's good too we almost there we almost there i don't know if y'all can see it in the distance hold on let me stop running y'all can't see it yet but we almost there come on see who's gonna carry the boats and the logs you are now y'all can see it racetrack oh my gosh we finally here chat Ooh. no cars let's go oh. let's go we made it we made it Let me take this off just in case the females see. You know what I'm saying? Just in case the females hear you dig what I'm trying to say. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I feel homeless, bro. No mommy, no daddy with me, no car, no money. Just me, myself, and I at racetrack with nothing to do. Now, I'm about to ask my mom to send me some cash at money, bro, because there's no way I ran all the way here and I'm not about to get something, bruh. Like, for real. So I just called my mom, and she said, if I get something, then I gotta get everybody in the house something. So that means I gotta run home with stuff for everybody, not just myself. So, yeah, we just waiting for my mommy to send me the money. And then, um, yeah, we gonna go inside and get some slushies. And then we gotta go, we gotta run all the way back to the house with the slushies. Not gonna lie, that's gonna be the hard part right there. All right, my mama just sent me the money. We're gonna go in and get some slushies for my sisters. Let's go. Oh, and just in case if y'all were wondering, I'm 4.7 miles in, bro. We still got a, a long way to go. Here's our options for slushies. We got Sprite, Coca-Cola, Sprite Lemonade, Dr. Pepper, and Mountain Dew. all right boom we got the two slushies bro i didn't get one for myself i just got one for my two sisters because my mom sounded a little grumpy when she answered the phone so you know what i'm saying i didn't even get one for myself i just got one for my two sisters and i'm gonna send her the rest of the money back there's like eight dollars left over i can send back to her i also got me the little racetrack cup holder so i don't gotta run back with the two slushies in my hand i could just run back with the cup holder holding it like this hey man life is good bro you know what i'm saying can't complain at all but i see some hoodlums walking into racetrack so i'm gonna just get my stuff and i'm gonna, um go on with my day simple okay see this is the problem bro we got the slushies bro but y'all know how quick slushies be melting so 
we gotta hurry up and get back to the house before these slushies melt. So I'm not gonna lie, bro. We're gonna have to run a four flat. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a band. We're gonna have to run a four flat. So I'm gonna turn off the camera, bro. And I'm about to run back to the house as fast as I possibly can. And I'll catch y'all when we at the crib. Bro, y'all peep how I'm running, bro. This is how I gotta run back to the crib with these slushies, yo. <laughs> this is how I gotta run back to the crib with these slushies. We got a long way to go. I ain't even gonna lie. We got a long way to go. All right, we just hopped into the flow state for like seven minutes and we are already almost back at the crib, which is great. And we still got the slushies. They still look good, have not melted yet, which is amazing. Whew. The things that I do for y'all, man, the things I do. I think this video deserves a like and subscribe, bare minimum, bro. Uh, y'all know me, I don't ask for too much. Just like and subscribe to the channel. Share, share with a couple of your friends too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just help your boy out. That's all I ask for. But we're not at the crib yet, so let's pick up the pace. Ah. All right, we almost there now. Just doing a little update. We 5.5 miles in, something like that. And we more than halfway close to our goal. So we're just gonna keep it going. And I'm not gonna lie, the slushies are starting to melt a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's almost halfway melted. Bro, I'm trying, bro. I gotta run faster. So I'm gonna let y'all know when we there. We are here. We pulling up in the neighborhood. It's my neighborhood right here to the left. We made it. We almost there. Oh, see. I work hard for this, man. I work hard for this, man. I work hard. They better appreciate this slicey too. I'm not playing. They better, they better be like, thank you, brother. Do you not know how hard I work for these slushies, bro? Are you crazy? We're home. Oh, oh my God. I have never been so happy to be home ever in my life, bro. Oh my God. Darn. Hey guys. I'm back with slushies. I'm back with slushies. Y'all want some slushies? No, it's like it had melted halfway. You didn't ask for one. You say you didn't want one. What? I don't. I'm not reading my text messages. I'm running multiple miles at one time. You read my message when you bought me slushies. Literally, when I called you, you said, don't bring me a slushie, it's going to melt. Because I just ran three whole miles for these slushies. message when I sent you your money was, don't bring me a slushie, it's going to melt. Exactly. Get Raya a halo, some gummies or something, and bring me a Coke. Dude. This is ungratefulness at its finest. I can't believe this. I just paid for all my slushies. You didn't bring me back what I asked for. This is so ungrateful. I paid for the slushies and I didn't get nothing. How is that ungrateful? What did I just get? What did I just get? What I paid for everything. Hey. Hey, I love you. You love me? Yeah. Thank you, Halo. I love Ray. Thank you, Halo. At least, at least Halo is appreciative. Man, I ain't appreciative because I didn't get. Shit. <laughs> Ray, you didn't even say thank you. Thank you. This is crazy. Hello, isn't this crazy? Yes. Crazy, ain't it? Yes, Ray found this shirt in mom's closet. Mm. So what, you want me to run back and get you a slushie? No. I mean, I can. I still got like four more miles left. I didn't want a slushie. I wanted a regular soda.
Okay, guys, so I have bad news, right? I looked at my miles for the day, and it says I ran 6.22 miles. I'm tired as hell, bro. <sighs> okay, <clears throat> am I gonna give up like a bitch? Or am I gonna keep going like a man? I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going, man, but I'm tired. I ain't gonna lie. Let's get to running. I ain't even finna trip, bro. We about like 6.8 miles in right now. And we just finna wrap this up. We finna get this out the way. We finna run these last three miles, bro. And then we finna go back in the house and go to sleep. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm, I'm mad tired right now, bro. My legs are killing me. I ain't even gonna cap. All right, so while I was running, bro, I had went to Apple Music one last time before just giving up and Apple Music actually worked this time, chat. So now I can listen to music while I'm running, bro. This is actually a game changer. I'm about to sprint these last three miles like it's the last three miles I ever ran. Let's go. All right, as y'all can see, we back on the main road. Whew. But for these last three miles, I'm gonna run my usual three mile route. So I'm basically gonna run a circle and then it's gonna smack me right back at the crib when I hit three miles. So we finna run this and after we done, we should be at 10 miles and yeah, let's do it. Hey YouTube, my life just flashed before my eyes, man. A big ass dog just ran at me, bro. It, it was so big. It was running at me full speed, chat. I had to turn on the jets, bro. I started running a four flat, no bullshit. I wasn't fast enough though, bro. Y'all know I already ran seven miles. So y'all know I'm tired, bro. The only thing that saved me, bro, a car had drove past me in this direction. And then the dog was right behind me. I dodged the whip. I'm talking like on some on some sparkling zero type shit, bro. I dodged the whip last second before it hit me, bro. And then it almost hit the dog. It was so scary, bro. I wasn't even scared about the whip. I didn't care about the whip. I knew I was going to dodge it, bro. But one thing I can't get away from is a dog, bro. A dog running at full speed. The car was the only thing that saved me, chat. God bless. God bless. God bless. But I didn't get hit. The car didn't slam on brakes. Not too hard. Um, the car turned on its hazard lights and then it basically scared the dog away and then the dog started running away I don't know where the dude ran to But she he, he wasn't running after me no more. So I ain't really give a fuck. I just kept running. I ain't gonna cap God look no, I didn't catch it. Ah Yo, bro. It was just four deer right here, bro I guess they felt my aura cuz as soon as I started rolling past they just ran away. I Got that Goku aura chat <laughs> Is that another dead? Yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is disgusting. I've seen like five dead animals while running, bro. Like, this is just like honestly disgusting. I'm getting dizzy, getting tired, but we're about nine miles in. So we just gonna stay strong and get this over with. All right, so we're back home again but we still got 0.50 miles to run. So unfortunately we're not done yet. We're not gonna go inside just yet. We're probably gonna run this roundabout over here like two times and then we should be done hopefully. Yeah, we're just gonna run this roundabout two times and then hopefully we'll be done.
We did it, YouTube. We ran 10 miles, bruh. Let's clap it up, man. We just did all that running. And I don't have a single person to clap for me. I don't have a single person to congratulate me when I'm finished, bro. <laughs> Sometimes in life, bro, you're not gonna have people to congratulate you. Sometimes in life, you're not gonna have people to be there by your side, to win with you, bro. Sometimes, bro, you just gotta win by yourself. Sometimes you gotta be the one to clap it up for yourself, man. Sometimes you gotta be the one to have confidence in your own self. Cause a lot of the time there's not gonna be there, there's not gonna be people right there with you to help you through the journey, bro. You gotta do it yourself. Not a single second during that run, I had anybody, not a single second during that run, I had anybody to, not a single second of that run, I had anybody by my side, bro. I had nobody by my side that entire run, nobody to clap for me that entire run. I did it all myself. And sometimes in life, that's what you gotta do. If you can discipline yourself if you can discipline your mind to where you feel like you don't need anybody else to, to the point where you feel like you could get stuff done by yourself, then that's when you unlock like a different level, bro. That's when you unlock a different mindset for yourself, yo. It is currently 642 and we started running at 340. So that means it took me Two hours and two minutes to run, 10 miles. Is that good? Y'all let me know in the comment section if that's good, but right now I'm too tired to even comprehend what's going on. Wait a minute. No, it took me three hours and two minutes because 340 to 640 is three hours. Yo, see, this is how you can tell I'm tripping right now, bro. I'm tired. I'm tired, bro. But it took me three hours to run that. Um, but it took me three hours to run that. It was fun. You know, it was fun. It was it was hard, but it was fun at the same time. You know, I ran to racetrack. I ran to a lot of places that I've never ran before. Saw a lot of different stuff, saw a lot of nice houses, saw some mansions. Um, it was fun, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications to the channel. And also, y'all pray for me. Y'all hope that I make the team tomorrow because... Man, I, I wouldn't even know what I would do if I didn't make the team tomorrow. I ain't gonna lie. I haven't even wrapped my head around that, bro, because I'm so confident that I'm gonna make the team. Like, I haven't even thought about what would happen if I didn't make the team because I'm so confident in myself, bro. And in life, you gotta have confidence in yourself, bro. I'm confident I'm gonna make this team, bro. But I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm gonna update y'all. You know what I'm saying? 
And I'll let y'all know what happened, you know. But nine times out of ten, your boy's gonna make the team 100%, bro. Nine times out of ten, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all don't gotta worry about much. Z who for real got this handle. But yeah, man, I'll catch y'all in the next video. But yeah, man, I'll catch y'all in the next video. But yeah, man, I'll catch y'all in the next video.